Well, here is my cyclic. It's designed to be mounted onto something. I've made a floor mount out of some heavy steel that I can just bolt it to, as you can see there. I can just bolt it onto that. The difference between this and most other cyclics is it has this brake mechanism in it. It's got some grease inside there and it just provides a positioning method that when you let it go it stays where you left it so there's there's the um, forward and back movement and it's got a brake in it and then left and right has a brake in it so you can set that degree of resistance by the screws that are there they're four millimeter screws just m4 and the same on the forward and back by changing the m4 screws position you can determine the amount of resistance in it it's got hall effect devices and magnets five millimeter magnets inside that you'll need to wire up and the same on the forward and back movement so there will be a method of adjusting that the screws sticking out the side the m3s are to do with setting the stops and there will be in the new model that's uh, going to be on thingiverse a method here where there will be a screw hole that goes through and you can put a screw at the bottom there to determine the stops there now the tubing is just 25 millimeter one millimeter wall standard tubing nothing fancy about that the height of this tubing is of course your determination you can make it as tall or as short as you want and the head that i've used on it is actually from my uh, logitech extreme pro 3d pro device and i will include the adapter there if you want to use that head from one of those inside the head i have put the arduino it's far superior to the original logitech device using mm joy 2 as the controller and those buttons just link straight up to the arduino very very easy setup on that so that's the device and if it interests you it doesn't return of course because it's got the friction in it but it is just very nice to use with helicopters and maybe other flight systems as well i don't know but it suits me and if anyone's interested, all the files will be on uh, Thingiverse. The bearings in it, there's two models. One has got 608 bearings in it, which are really unnecessary. That's the way I designed it initially with bearings in it. But I've put up files that are just straight um, holes, which uh, you could put a, an 8mm rod through. Because it needs an 8mm rod, even if you use the bearings. But if you don't, then an 8mm rod without bearings will do the job just fine. There's so little movement in it that it'll never need bearings in reality. So I hope you enjoy it. And, and that's my version of, a, uh, of my cycle or helicopter, etc.